Bizarre Brain Comics. Well, hello, my comic book friends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I'm Gary, your host. This is where I like to take a look at uh, some older comics, talk a little bit about the characters and creators, and then examine the stories and the art. Hmm. This time, I want to take a look at something that's done tongue-in-cheek, kind of a parody. This one is Fighting Yank, number three, from AC Comics 19, was it 95? Oh, correction, 2002. This is from 2002. And I've uh, talked a little bit about AC Comics before. They were a, a publisher in the from the late 80s through the 90s and into the early 2000s. An alternative publisher, but they published um, mainstream content mostly, uh, largely. Um, Reprint material that was uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Anyway, the copyrights had expired, and then they uh, they were printing a lot of uh, old material from the 50s, 40s, and 50s. Um, why can't I not think of the word? Not eminent domain. Anyway, um, some of the, the Golden Age uh, superheroes, defunct, mostly dis defunct superheroes, uh, a lot of westerns and other adventure stuff. And uh, then in, through, the, through the 90s and early 2000s, they were also publishing original material, uh, some using some of those... Um, those Older, uh, older characters, as well as uh, newer, um, newer characters with original characters, such as the Fim Force. And this is, uh, like I said, Fighting Yank, and it guest stars the very lovely and voluptuous Jungle G Correction Cave Girl. From, uh, from some of the Jungle comics. And this was uh, drawn intentionally. This is uh, written and drawn by Eric Coyle and is done intentionally at imitating um, um, Jack Kirby art. And uh, through the whole adventure story and context and everything is done square with tongue squarely planted in cheek. It is, uh, but it, it, it's a, a lot of fun. It's what intended to be fun and nostalgic for some of the, the older stuff. Now, um, Fighting Yank is, of course, a, an older character, uh, a, a Golden Age character, which uh, they have used and, uh, and updated. And the story takes place in the 50s. So, I'll take a little closer look here. At the uh, Kirby imitation and sheer fun of Fighting Yank number three. And here we, you can see that better uh, view of, the, of that cover. Uh, drawn by Eric Coyle with inks by Bill Black. 
and fighting American at number three. And, and you can see right there how voluptuous she is. These, uh, the AC comics were, were real big on uh, uh, doing good girl art. And a lot of the, the stuff that they reprinted uh, featured girl good girl art from the 50s um, by various various artists. See, and uh, as I said, this is, this is, um, oh, and before we get into that, I wanted to, well, I won't do that this time. Uh, F Fighting Yank, number three from 2003 AC Comics, written and drawn by Eric Coyle with inks by Bill Black. And Fighting Yank is the name of, of several superheroes appearing in, uh, in among other things, Startling Comics. That's where it first appeared in Startling Comics, number one, uh, number forty. Correction. In 1941, and this was uh, published by uh, is it Netter or Nader uh, Comics. Timely also had a version of Fighting uh, Fighting Yank character uh, from. Issue number one of Captain America. Correction. First appeared in Captain Captain America number 17 in 42. Then AC Comics reprinted the, the Nader version uh, of the, the character in uh, the, the 90s to 2001, and, or in 2001, they relaunched the character set in the 50s. Uh, and he, where he was uh, fighting Kami spies, etc. Here he is, like a uh, kind of like Captain America or the Shield or some of the, those other Star Spangled type type uh, uh, type characters, and very Kirby esque. The whole thing, the 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 style. This is. Well, I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Eric Coyle is a cartoonist who has worked for AC Comics since 1994. And he attended the University of Georgia and is the social services case manager with the Madison County Department of Family and Child Services through the Georgia Department of Human Services. And he's drawn comics while, while doing that. And uh, and he's uh, now doing projects um, at G-Man Comics. Hmm. And I don't know that. I look try to look for look it up. I guess they're mostly kid, um, um, all ages comics. And Cave Girl, uh, who is the the guest star. There are other um, characters that are uh, appearing here as well, but uh, um, they're mostly cameos. And but Cave Girl runs through the whole story. She is from originally from Magazine Enterprises, and she ran from fifty-two to fifty-five. Created by Gardner Fox and. Bob Powell, and she started in Thunder number two, and is uh, then spun off into her own quarterly title. And even though uh, uh, Coyle here is is utilizing a Kirby style, he is uh, for the female figures. He still has uh, Kirby hints and stuff like some of the hands, the the dynamism, and in the faces, uh, but he. Uh, uh, Kirby was not known for his for uh, being a good girl artist and being lovely. And this and this stuff is definitely good girl, as you can see there. Keeps a very uh, uh, voluptuous figure, and you can also see just in here the the lovely fluid uh, lines in her figure compared to the the uh, dense more dense um, blacks and and. Uh, bold strokes in the uh, uh, the rest of the image <clears throat> so 
so let's take a quick look at Fighting Egg. That's why we got the, it takes place in the jungle. That's why we got the jungle, jungle sound effects going. Yes, nice and dynamic. Okay, we'll take a quick look in here. AC Comics. Here you see on the back cover, <laughs> uh, for the next issue, Fight and Yank, Men of Mystery, Crime Comics. Um, he's reprinting older stuff, and this is more more of that. Uh, just like this, it's it's tongue in cheek uh, parody. And I was looking online for because this is the only Fight and Yank comic I've got, and I, at least some places on I've seen trying to sell some these for like. Two hundred dollars. So they may be well much sought after. Fem Force Spotlight, and including some of the uh, models who uh, dress up and portray some of the uh, the Fem Force characters. It said in Darkest Dawn World. Yes, because this is Dawn takes place in Dawn World, the land of thunder. Remember, we did, I did Thunder. If you go way back, it's one of the first vi uh, videos I did. Thunder by Frank Frazetta. And he's... This is... Is uh, Fighting Yank uh, parachuting into the Dawn world. And it's 1954. <clears throat> and he's going through the jungle. And, and he is uh, set upon by the... Uh, crude ape men, which are <laughs> actually kind of like uh, the the Pakuni from uh, Land of the Lost. And here comes Cave Girl coming in and really cleaning cleaning house. And then here you can see a strong Frank Frazetta tribute in these female figures here, even in this one here. And, and she is with a wolf who the wolf. Uh, uh, raised her. Yeah, I didn't know they had wolves in Africa, because it's that. Yeah. And there they are, uh, um, because they're going to, because this is a, a from a previous issue, and uh, there's a, a great communist menace here taking over uh, this this almost said Savage Land in uh, Dawn World, <clears throat> and she is leading the way, and you can see him. Him swinging along, very strong Kirby stuff. Now you can see how strong his his uh, uh, Kirby imitation is, but then here he has has pulled a little because this is the highway, <laughs> and there are all these other jungle characters here. Of course, versions of Tarzan, uh, and they're they're swiped directly from uh, other sources. Meanwhile, back in New York, Th at the hospital, Thunder was injured, and is in the hospital. And he gets there, and there's a mix-up when he approach, uh, uh, confronts the doctor. There is a mix-up, and he's <laughs> loud and boisterous. Uh, this character, this is uh, uh, the Avenger. He's a friend of uh, of uh, uh, of Thunder and Fighting Yank. And there he is, all tucked up in, in bed. And be, his needs are being seen to by this very voluptuous nurse lady and the guys are being tacky about her appearance and then the uh, uh, the eight men are on their way back to their master who is the panda <laughs> Lord Panda and they're talking about trying to take over and even to the point of uh, one of their name is Chaka Chaka one of the Pakuni from uh from Land of the Lost, and it, and we see it's got this thing, this mind control device, broadcasting uh, stuff. But uh, some, and but some people are not affected for various reasons. We we'll, won't go into that. And here he is, the panda on his throne. And he's got all these other jungle girls who are his his, his slaves. And the panda, because mind control. And here he's talking about stuff. The his uh, eight men. Failed him, and he has his uh, doughboys, which are are artificial life forms uh, disguised as as these statues, and they're thrown to 
Jing Zhang Zhoom, which is a parody of Fin Fang Foom. Uh, and he, he eats them. And here he talks about his plans to t uh, use the mind control device, get all this other material that he needs, uranium, and then build all these bombs and take over the world. And uh, this is Fa. She is uh, uh, the girlfriend of Thunder. The mate of Thunder. And she and he's going to have her as his side because he's, he's taking a shine to her. And meanwhile, going through the jungle... They're set upon by more ape men, and they are saved by Zantu, Prince of Buku. And he's a very nice, curbious thing. They even mention how uh, 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 defying the laws of physics <laughs> and stuff. Now, this, this is some great Kirby imitation stuff, though. There was, I had uh, got a couple of issues of a comic from the 80s. I, I wish I still had them. And it might have been done by Coil, I don't know, which which was the best Kirby imitation I've seen by anybody, including the other other professional artists who imitated Kirby. Uh, you know, from his uh, from uh, Marvel and or DC. And he, so he leads them on. They're going, going there, and then they're being beset. Well, they're almost there. This is the place, and they've got that gizmo there, radiating the the mind control stuff, and they're. Uh, uh, being confronted by Jing Zhang Zhoom. And just as he's about to squash them, boom, <laughs> he's squashed under the foot of <laughs> Godzilla. And Godzilla's fighting Mothra. And they get away. And they, they break in, and there's all, all kinds of sneaky, sneakiness and uh, um, busting equipment so that uh, the mind control gizmo isn't working right. And there are more Kirby like goodness here. Good Kirby imitation of him smashing right through the, the the enemies. And they're smashing and fighting and slashing, but they're caught. And in the process, uh, uh, <laughs> um, a Cave Girl's top is, is accidentally removed. Oop, eep. And then Frederick Wortham here pops in to complain about it. And Harry says, none of that. We'll have none of that. So they're captured. And they're going to be sacrificed to... Uh, King Thong. Stomp, 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 stomp. And here he is, King Thong. And he's wearing uh, <laughs> an undergarment because he's so big. He has to. He is so big. Yeah. <laughs> and they managed to break free. And he and it looks it looks just like Kong. And he goes nuts. He, he's, uh, he's ticked off. And he climbs up and he smashes the, the mind control gizmo. And then they're all... Oh, right then, the Avenger and Thunder, Thunder, and others, uh, 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 Rocket Man or whatever his name was, uh, they arrived. Even got the the voluptuous nurse there, and uh, well, they're all fighting on the ground, and they all busted. Here's uh, Thunder's coming in and smashing, and and the Avengers, Avenger uh, zapping enemies and here we see more the characters busting free and you see more jungle type characters including the phantom and stuff and and king thong snatches um the panda uh and it climbs up <laughs> and he takes a liking to him takes a shine to him and they so he walks and <laughs> takes off with the panda in tow and they have won and because they're being re reunited here's here's thunder and fa uh, as they're they're uh, necking and they can't wait they quickly rip their uh, what slight garments they are already wearing and about ready to go to town got all the censored marks there and then there were them <laughs> jumps in again and meanwhile here's Sh uh, uh, jungle girl Shirley uh, who is very sexy she comes up and 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 kind of distracts uh, <laughs> uh, we'll have Frederick Wortham, and it's very beautiful. She's very voluptuous, and I love that face, very old-fashioned type, that lovely, lovely face. And I think she is is um, inspired by uh, um, Irish McCullough uh, as as the uh, as Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, and that is that story. But I just wanted to brief. It has a an article here, here about the Dawn World has a, an original a reprint of an original uh, fighting uh, fighting Yank uh, when in his um, uh, a Revolutionary War 
period uh, clothing and then it's also followed up if I can get a hold of it by a story of oh, some more more cool artwork uh, a story of cave girl by Bob Powell and uh, other stuff and, and then we saw those ads so that is it for fighting yank with cave girl it is a lot of fun some uh, some great Kirby like art uh, in, uh, including some very voluptuous ladies and <laughs> some some good fun tongue-in-cheek action I think it's well written and well drawn and is is uh, it is just sheer fun so thank you for joining me please like share subscribe share it with your other friends who are Kirby fans and uh, or friends who are into the jungle comics etc and uh, tell me what you thought of of this version of Fighting Yank and this Kirby-like art. Or, if you prefer, just the lovely, lovely ladies that are, that are in here. Anything of that sort. And remember, people, comics are art. <laughs>